Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Heeswin and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you have watched my channel for, oh my goodness, it's been like almost two years now. Yeah, so if you watched my first video from two years ago, the thing that started it all, I was actually unboxing my Bay's luggage and I just whipped my iPhone out and was like, you know what? I think other people would just, would get just as excited as I am about this luggage. And that started the whole YouTube channel. So I thought I would do a major, major throwback and review two new Bay's bags. I was super pumped about the Naturals collection. I think it's gorgeous while a little late in the season, but I'm still excited for the bags. And for me, they're perfect because I'm about to go on my redo honeymoon to Tulum and I thought they were the perfect Tulum vibes. So I did get two bags, the tote and then the smaller and both in beige. They are both offered also in black, but I just wanted to test both of them out. I'm not sure which one I'll be keeping. So drop a comment down below letting me know which one you like better so that I can decide. And I will also scour the internet and look for any discount codes that I can find. So you can also find those in the description box and I will be updating this video as more coupon codes come out. So make sure you check that out if you wanna save a little bit of money on these bags. All right, let's dive in. Okay, so starting off, this is the natural cross body and it says so many pockets for organizing detachable straps for multiple ways to wear trolley pass through. I just love bays. I just feel like they really put thought into everything. I love this bag. I don't know why they didn't release it at the beginning of summer. I do feel like it's a very summery bag and to release it mid August just feels like I don't know if maybe it took longer to develop or took longer in the production line, but this is definitely a very summery bag. I wouldn't call this an autumnal bag because it is very straw-like, but I'll show you the texture. It's this gorgeous straw-like material. There is a white uh, fabric kind of as the lining. It comes with these cool clear and acrylic handles. And then on the side, it has wrapped in like, I'm gonna guess a faux leather since I don't think Bayes does any leather products. I wanna say it's all vegan leather, but I could be wrong. So again, leave a comment down below letting us know. I, ugh, everything is just so stunningly made. So the exciting part inside the bag, it has one main compartment that actually has a snap like so. And it's not the roomiest, but it is uh, depth wise. There's a lot of depth, but I wouldn't say it like opens super wide. There are two D-rings on either side to attach the crossbody strap that comes with it. I think the crossbody strap is super handy because it's really easy to set it down and forget to pick it back up. So the crossbody strap is very good. And then inside you have the key ring, which I think comes standard in every Bay's bag and it's just so handy. Then you have a large zippered pocket and two smaller pockets. So. Oh, and the very bottom is lined with material, so you're not resting on this straw material. However, the sides are not lined, so you are gonna be brushing up against that. But I wouldn't think there's any worry. It does have a white interior lining you can kind of see behind the straw, so you don't have to worry about anything falling out. Overall, I think it's a gorgeous bag. I am leaning towards keeping this one. It does look a little bit like a lunchbox to me. <laughs> I wish it was insulated because this would actually be a really cute lunchbox. Um, and then on the outside, oh, I forgot. On the outside, it has a trolley pass through. So you can either use it as a pocket if you keep it zipped up or you can unzip it here. And this becomes something you can put on your suitcase. I'm a little confused why a bag this small needs a trolley pass through, but it is handy that it's also a pocket. So I don't think I'd ever use this to put on my suitcase. I think I would just carry it. But if you wanted to, I like that you have the option, but it is still functional if you don't use that feature. So all in all, it's a cute bag, little hard. Like I wouldn't say it opens super wide. You're definitely gonna have to like get your stuff in there and like dig through for things. But I think this is perfect for the beach. You could fit a book, your wallet, keys, phone, everything you need inside. I like that it comes with a crossbody strap and these acrylic handles are just, uh, they're gorgeous. I'm a little worried about like if they're gonna get scratched up. I think uh, I'm leaning towards keeping this one. I just think it's a better size. And I'll go ahead and show you the other bag I got. This gigantic bag is the Naturals Tote. Slip through straps for your hat or mat, removable crossbody straps for multiple way to wear, the perfect summer tote from beach to pool. Okay, so they know it's a summer tote, so I don't really know why they released it late August, but again, I don't know what happened with their production line. However, this is, oh, it's gigantic. I love this, I love this. 
especially if you're going to the pool with like kids, you can throw everything in here. But look at this. Okay, so you can fit like either a hat. They say you can fit a hat in here. I don't exactly know how that worked, but you could definitely fit a yoga mat if you wanted or like slip your beach towel in. On the other side, it has this, which is, I believe the trolley pass through, which makes a little bit more sense with a bag this size if you're using it as an airport carry-on. But because of the straw material, I don't think it'd be great for travel, but hey, I've yet to have a durability issue with any base product. So inside, this bag is extremely roomy in comparison to the other one. It has, I'm guessing, so it has this key ring, and then it has this, which I have honestly, absolutely no idea what it's for. I don't know if it's for a hat. Like I literally have no idea what this is. So if anyone in the comments below can tell me, I feel like it's probably something like super creative and useful, but I just cannot figure it out. So you like snap it down and then this kind of like can lift up and like, it looks like it's a clip for something. So they also come with a crossbody strap in here. And again, two D rings. I think that's handy, but for a bag this size, I think it would just get so heavy with the crossbody, it would really dig into your shoulder. You have a water bottle compartment on both sides, actually. So both sides have a water bottle compartment. They have a two pockets here for accessories or whatever, and then a zippered pocket here for like more, I guess like phone keys wallet. And then again, like the other one, the bottom is lined with this leather material and the outside is this straw material. On the bottom, it has little gold feet, so which is a really nice feature that's not on the other one. So if you're like putting this down on a table or something, it kind of has a little bit more structure. I wish this bag was just a little bit smaller. Like I feel like it kind of dwarfs me. I'll go ahead and show you it on. Like it's big, it's definitely a pool bag. You're gonna fit a lot in here. I think if I was taking a beach, like a day beach trip, this would be perfect because you can really fit everything you need. But I think for going to like a resort where you're not gonna be taking as much stuff with you, there's gonna be like provided towels and stuff. I don't know if this makes the most sense for me. So I think I'm gonna send this one back, return it for store credit. Because I'm obsessed with all things base, so I'm not worried about finding something else. But it is a really cute bag if you wanna carry more. Personally, I'm just obsessed with this little crossbody tote and I think it's gonna be perfect for my needs in Tulum. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a major throwback to the beginning of my channel. Um, thank you so much if you've made it this way through. If you do end up getting one of these bags, again, please check my description box down below. There could be a good link to get you some money off. Um, and drop me a comment, let me know. I love this as a conversation and not just a one-way video. So please give me your thoughts down in the comments because I'm so excited to chat with all y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day. Before you go, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out as a small content creator. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel and I love creating videos and it, it helps remind me that there's someone on the other side. So please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll get to every video that I upload, which is Mondays and Thursdays. And if you want, you can even turn that bell notification on and you'll get a gentle little push notification reminder. I hope you have a gorgeous day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.